They knocked at the door and my late husband asked who is it and they said it was a police and they, my late husband opened the door, they came in, they asked for my late son and we said he wasn't in, they went to his room and they saw he was not there. They asked us where he was and they then ransacked all of Ahmed's possessions. They went onto the balcony and found nothing. I then argued with them that I wanted to see my son and they said that your son is with us. I asked them that I wanted to see him and they said, no, you cannot see him. After the early evening prayers, they came back again. I asked who were they. They identified themselves as security police. They stood and I asked them to have a seat. One of the police pushed me violently onto the seat. I stood up and I asked what happened. And they told me that my son had jumped from the 10th floor of John Foster Square and that had died. And that Please take it easy, control yourself, get uh, calm. Tomorrow time, you all right. Please take your time. They, I, I told them that I do not believe that my son had committed suicide. And I showed them the window of my room and I told them it is impossible for him to have jumped and that they did not look after him and they told me that he had jumped and had died. And this was on Wednesday. On Friday morning, at the mortuary, they told me that my husband should go and identify the body. And the doctors on Friday conducted a post-mortem. And the watch boy at the mortuary told us that he worked there for 24 years and that a post-mortem normally takes 20 minutes, but this is the first time it had taken four hours. The call for prayer on Friday then went on and after the Friday prayer they bathed the deceased and brought the deceased body home. I then saw the son and I had noticed that he had been assaulted and was full of blood and that the whole place was covered in blood. They they hit my son They arrested him on a Friday and they killed him and said that he committed suicide. I want to know who assaulted him and I want to know who lodged the complaint about my son. My, I, it took me quite a bit of 
Don't be content to raise my children. It is 25 years now. And then I will not forget what happened. I asked the Almighty that I will not forget what happened and that I need to know who lodged the complaint and what happened. I will not forget what happened. I need to know.